Good morning, Scott. Hi, Neil. How you doing? It's early for me. You're yeah. an early riser. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're, we're doing Reaper's Harvest in uh, Rots, France, uh, just inland from Lake Juneau Beach, uh, June 44, just after D-Day. Um, I think the Canadians came in on Juneau Beach. Does that sound right? Uh, yeah. We'll Gold. see. You will see here. Mm -hmm. A video. I think it pops up here, which... We're just inland of Normandy, and... Yeah, Juneau Beach. There it is. I knew I put it in the video. Uh, six miles inland of Juneau Beach, and it's uh, Canadians versus the German SS. And I think I picked the Canadians in this one, and which relegated you to the German SS, and I know you hate playing the Germans. Not hate, but typically choose not to play the Germans. Uh, probably, yeah. Especially the SS. You probably hate playing the SS. I don't like the SS. I enjoy playing the SS because they're kind of badass. Yeah. Uh, we're actually starting. I started the video late on this game, so what's happened already? Let's pause it real quick right here. So if you look over on the left which would be the west side of the board. You see that my blowing up, I think it was a Sherman, uh, came in. You had your head that your anti-tank gun hidden emplacement in Y6. Um, I came in and you smoked him right away. I came in, I think, on the road. You smoked him right away. Yeah. And then I had basically a platoon. I think I missed, I think I missed, with, yeah, I think I missed with my first shot, and I think I ended up... I think you ended up turning around and coming back at me and I intensive fired, I believe. Did you? And, yeah. And, I, popped, and popped him. I don't recall, but I remember I had my guys, you know, pre-set up on board. And I had a platoon kind of coming in behind the wheat field. And as soon as you revealed your gun, I'm like, okay, those, I'm taking those guys out. So I, yeah. <laughs> I moved my platoon immediately into those guys. So as you see, they, they didn't last long. So yeah, I started the video late. So this is kind of the beginning of the game situation. Let's go ahead and start it again. Okay. Um, and I brought in some guys up the middle there and you broke some, I think it was a squad there and he had to route back. And I brought my other tank in over on the other right flank. And I brought another platoon way over on the right to see if I could stir up some chaos and bring them in uh, on your flank. Yeah, you're trying to, like, envelop me, I think. You're flanking both sides. Yeah. <clears throat> I was able to drop some smoke in I-6 to try to give those guys over on the right some cover. You had to capture the... Uh... Building in R2, uh, as well yeah. as three other multi hex oh, buildings. That's right. <clears throat> yeah. And you'll notice building, I guess, Z, AA5, Z5. Um, there's nothing there right now, so you technically own that building right now. And you'll see, yeah. I have to, <laughs> later in the game, I run back and grab it real quick. And I figured you'd set up your anti-tank gun somewhere along that road, uh, which is kind of the dividing line for setup. I just didn't know where it would be, which side. Yeah, well, it's, it was kind of a tough call because the line of sight on this board is, it's just so cut up. Yeah, all the orchards and the buildings. The hedges. Yeah. <clears throat> I think th this is our first scenario with hedges, I think, too. So, well, this was our first one with armor, wasn't right. it? Yeah, first with armor, getting back into armor, and first with hedges as well. And I have to, I have to admit, I was kind of at a loss of what to do with my armor, other than trying to lay smoke. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't have much uh, better luck with my panther when it comes on, but uh, I think at this point, you know, my defense is holding up pretty good. Uh, I think you've only you broke one guy, one squad so far. I fell back in the middle there. Oh, I got a, I got a uh, leader generation earlier on the guy that was broke back in T10. That eight minus O was generated. Now we're on turn two. 
Yeah, and my left flank is starting to uh, collapse. Yeah. I think I'm about ready to bring. That's why I brought the Panther in right there, uh, which should be coming on pretty quick. Yeah. Just to try and shore, shore that up, because at this point, my right. left flank was just wide open. You just broke a bunch of guys and they had to route back. But yeah, I would have brought him in over on my, my left flank too, to cover. And I'm keeping my AFVB Sherman, I think, back there. I was trying to get some smoke on the road so I could cross effectively. And I didn't have much success with that until later. I think my other tank came in. Yeah, because at this point I'm holding you up in the center. You can't, you're having, a, you got your, the majority of you guys are having a hard time trying to get across the road. Yeah, because I'm also, yeah, I'm, I'm about ready just to fall back because both flanks are, yeah, I'm starting to fall back. My, my guys coming in on the right, on the east there, weren't much of a threat most of the game. You broke some guys early and I was, it was slow moving for me. Yeah. Oh, here, he oh, here comes the panther. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> No, I think the mistake I made here was bringing him into the village. I should have came in more to the west and just hung back away from your infantry because, as we're going to see... Yeah, uh, I got lucky. Well, I don't know how lucky you were. You were smart. You, you got in there with the, the, the Piot. And... But I think my guy is in V5. Uh, I don't think there's a leader in there. I think the guy's that end up getting you with the Piat self-rallied uh, and came around and got you, which we'll see. Yeah, I don't think there's a leader in there. Yeah, I'm the Panther. I'm about ready to get a K right, right about here. I'm going to get a KIA on that. The guys right in the hedge there in E3. <laughs> Hide, hiding behind the thin hedge. <laughs> I still haven't been able to get anything going across the road. I'm still in turn two. It's early. This was a six turn scenario, I think. Six and a half. Oh, yeah, but you there just we go. broke. Yeah, you just broke my center there, and everybody's uh, starting to okay. fall back. Okay, let's pa pause here real quick. So there was another jump in the action there. We took a lunch break, and I we came back. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I forgot <laughs> to hit record, so some stuff happened. It looked like. Um, oh, I tried. Oh, we to, missed. I tried to drive my Sherman that was up in H eight or whatever Your firefly yeah I, I tried to drive him down the road and i was gonna lay smoke and he you took him out with a panzerfaust i believe yep popped him with a panzerfaust yeah and then my afvc which was reinforcements came in somewhere maybe i-10 um yeah or no no he came in through the orchard came down to the road and used a smoke mortar and popped smoking oh yeah on the yeah. road there where that big stack is and then he would drove back up into the orchard because i didn't know what the hell to do with the match of that <laughs> so then <laughs> i was able to get some stuff out into the into the street so that's where we are now okay let's go ahead and start it again uh but it did, yeah right about now it's starting to look i'm starting to get worried it's not looking good for me i got a bunch of broken guys lost the center you got all these your reinforced came on and oh. you're about ready to pop my panther. Yeah. That was a KIA. And you tried to run that half squad or whatever. Yeah. Right in front of the panther. And I broke him. That, yeah, the 8 minus 1 leader. There's a squad or half squad and a piot in there. I'm not going to take a shot here in a second. Oh, we're on turn 3. Uh, my nine minus two stack is uh, probably assault moved out into the smoke earlier. Oh, there goes the panther. Yeah. And the, uh, I think I didn't need I needed decent rolls to get a hit and a kill. I think I got a yeah I got a four to hit and then a six to kill. So I got some pretty decent rolls to get that. Okay, now I'm, yeah. now I'm across the street, and I'm starting to feel better now. Yeah, I'm pretty much in trouble. 
this point. I can't. It's time. You know, it's just basically down to some desperation. And and once I knocked out your panther, um, that thing scared the crap out of me. That's why my tank was hiding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But other than, other than laying smoke with my getting a smoke down finally with my AFV, I didn't really use them that effectively. At least I didn't think so. I didn't. I don't even think I got any AG shots off on you, even though I tried. Guys over on the east, there, struggling through the orchard. Yeah, I was able to shore up my right flank pretty good. Um, it's like you're falling back close. a little bit. Yeah, I'm just trying to somehow reorganize and I'll try and hold on, but it's... Uh... Yeah, and I got pretty good, pretty good leadership. I have three leaders showing there might be one yeah there's one under that other big stack too i have like four liters now you brought that pl uh platoon down or a couple squads with that 80 liter down to the south edge of the board that really because my reinforcements which are only a squad the leader mm -hmm. i think are about ready to come on and you had that pretty well covered i guess in hindsight i should have brought him in somewhere else maybe but I need to get somebody in that victory building. Yeah. Or at least that was my thinking. Oh, my half because. squad. My half squad F ran back to that building to capture it just in case. Yeah, you didn't have many many choices for your reinforcements coming on. You had to really go for that R2 building to shore that up. Here they come. And I wanted to yeah. get, I wanted to get something to get some pot shots off at them. I think I broke the squad. Uh, yeah, because I'm just hanging on by my uh, toenails at this point. We're on turn four. Your turn four. Uh, I just broke something in. Or your big second R three. And this is at the point where I'm trying to. You got a bunch of broken guys trying to figure out a way to kind of encircle you. To prevent route or elimination by route. I think I was able to squeak out of that just a little bit. I think I lost uh, one, maybe one squad. But... So I got my tank up at the crossroads, just firing down at buildings that I have line of sight to. I didn't want to get too close because you have Panzerfoss. And a hit right. with a Panzerfoss is pretty much toast in any scenario yeah but I, I really couldn't do much with my tank just shooting at you guys in buildings yeah the fat lady's warming up at this point yeah I think you still have some a squad or two in that building R2 uh, oh, now I think now it was I'm, just two, two leaders I think Oh, there's yeah, a machine me, gun. Like, couple machine guns, couple leaders. Yeah, the, the surge is on now. I'm going across the street. On turn five now. I think because at this point you have the three other multi-hex buildings. The one on the east side, on the right there, didn't really matter, I don't think. Um, you just needed the the yeah. R2 building. Yeah, because I had... Uh, the, the, yeah, I had, uh, this is the last. We called it right after this because I had nothing left. I think you advanced your 9 minus 1 into that big melee stack. Melee, yeah. Yeah. Trying to help out. but I think I eliminated something for failure to route earlier. I saw some... Yeah. In that in R2 building, I think I saw some units disappear there a minute ago i think i might have had a half squad or something yeah. i end up with a one leader left i think but we called it because you still had your player turn left and i had nothing really to 
It's basically all over. Yeah, I think that building was... Maybe there's a 7 O liter down in the bottom one. Bottom hex. Yeah. Building. Yeah. After this close combat, it was pretty much over. Um, overall, I thought I liked this scenario. Um, and I thought actually it turned out to be somewhat balanced, but I, I definitely think the Germans could use a little help to really balance it out. Well, I got some, I think I got some, other than running my first AFVA right in front of your anti-tank gun, I got some pretty good breaks. I got a leader creation. I got some good rolls on that Piat shot to take out your Panther, which really helped. And I was able to get smoke, finally get smoke right in the street that let me rush across in Q5 or Q7. Plus I had a wreck there too, which helped with the uh, hindrance and line of sight. Yeah, I think, uh, well, one of the things I learned was uh, with that Panther, I, I just, you know, it, it's not going to work good for street fighting, I don't think. You know, if I had stayed back, maybe ran around the outsides of the village, tried to take some of your guys out, it would have been better. Yeah, AFV is in, in close quarters like that is kind of dodgy, right? You start, yeah. Especially, I mean, I had, I think I had two Piats on the board. I only ended up using one. I think the, the guys that were coming in way over on the right also had one, but it never came into play. Yeah, you get into close combat like that with uh, Panzerfoss and Piats, it's a deadly proposition. That's why I pretty much tried to stay out of town so you couldn't shoot at me with your Panzerfoss. Other than trying to drop that smoke by running running right down the road right next to your guys that did not, that did not work no <laughs> that was a disaster <laughs> yeah if 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 there's panzer boss and piots you got to be a little more careful i guess yeah stay back a little bit because i think i think the two kill number for a panzer boss is like 31 or something it's just crazy crazy yeah yeah those things are deadly um, it's hard to hit though. I mean, because yeah, you're out in the yeah, the range is pretty pretty short, and... especially in starter kit because there's no. I think there's a rule in full ASL that you can opportunity fire, so you can you can wait to the advancing fire phase and not suffer the back blast penalty. I think something like that, but that does that rule doesn't exist in starter kit, obviously. Yeah. Um, what did I learn? Um, I think the same thing you learned is AFVs and street fighting don't mix. Um, I learned it a different way, but that's why I kept mine out of your uh, the range of your Panzerfaust and tried to shoot you with my main armament, but that didn't, wasn't very effective either. I think I may have gotten some hits under guys in buildings, but didn't really do much with it. Uh, yeah, I think it was, uh, I know you're doing a lot of area firing, cause it's easier to hit, but then I was getting the terrain modifier, so. Yeah, it's half. Like eight, eight, eight plus three or whatever it was, so. Yeah, it was. Or 12 plus three. Well, the, ha uh, the firepower's halved, so I don't know what a 75. Oh, that's right, 76 yeah. So is, six. It's probably like a four plus three or six plus three or. Six yeah. plus three. Three, yeah. not, not super effective yeah yeah 70 mm it's a 12 so most of those shots were like, ended up being six plus threes which aren't gonna do a whole lot I guess I could have tried but, uh, infantry target type maybe but uh, it was a fun scenario though it had, had a good um, not a huge amount of armor just enough to make it interesting and I just it's I think the balance is a little questionable, personally. But yeah, do you remember which, you know, looking at all the, the roar and the ASL scenario archive? Do you remember which was what the balance was? I, it wasn't it was huge, something. It wasn't I, hugely out of balance. No. Maybe one side had a favor. Well, I think it was like 
60 40 or 70 30 canadian was it yeah something like that yeah they have a lot of firepower and good leaders that nine minus two i mean you have a nine minus two on the board I mean, that's one step below a 10 minus three obi-wan as we call them right they're, yeah it's <laughs> nasty <laughs> yeah uh cool yeah that was a fun scenario um next time we play the ss i'll i'll take the ss so you don't have to be subject to them (laughs) (laughs) they got good morale so oh yeah yeah definitely um next time we're playing uh the all armor scenario right yeah i think that was the next one we did yeah clash at bora sovka yeah i believe and you at the end of that scenario you said something like yeah i'm not feeling it so yeah. <laughs> uh, i mean I, I like armor scenarios we can talk more about it in the in that scenario but uh, that it's all armor we thought we'd try that one just so we could focus purely on the armor aspects uh, of the rules so we'll do that next time yeah all right talk to you later all right <laughs>